Blessings, this is Amanda Amethyst and I'm bringing you a lunar taroscope for the time period between the new moon in Sagittarius on December 11th and the full moon in Cancer on December 25th, 2015. I'd like to start off by saying that this is a general reading, so if you're interested in a personal reading or a personal distance energy healing session, you can contact me at amandaamethysthealer at gmail.com. I'd be happy to connect with you further and work with you. I'd also like to let you know that I'm going to be changing up the types of videos that I'll be posting on this channel. So I'm going to do this tarot scope and the full moon in Cancer at the end of this year. And then I'm going to be switching over to posting what I'm more feeling called to lately, which are guided meditations and sound healing offerings with crystal singing bowls. Um, and I, I love the tarot and divination so much. And I feel that with the uh, response that I've been getting to it and with my passion for the meditation aspect, I'm just going to switch over. I'll still be posting some readings at certain times. I'm not quite sure what, the, what it's all going to look like. I'll let you know next video. I just wanted to give you a little heads up and I'm very excited about a meditation which I'll be sharing. I'll be posting it on 1212 um, that is light up the grid. It's a golden age meditation that has to do with the mycelium network. So it's very exciting. I'm excited. I'm, I'm just really happy <laughs> to be sharing that with all of you. Um, so I'll be using the fifth tarot deck, which was created by Martine and Teresina Bakins for our reading today. I'll also pick a card from the Goddess Guidance Oracle, which was created by Doreen Virtue, and probably also the Angels of Atlantis, created by Stuart Pierce. Some of the messages that I've been receiving prior to the reading are that this is a time of activation. We've got the 1212 portal and winter solstice on the 21st, both coming up during this time period. That's a lot, um, but we can handle it. We've been going to new levels. We're ever evolving beings, reaching new levels of consciousness, new levels of possibility. So this allows us to integrate all of those things that we've been doing and to activate deeper parts of ourselves since we are already at this level of integration. It's a beautiful thing. It's also very important right now to connect with our loved ones, with our family and our friends and our soul family, and also to ask for and to be open to receive whatever it is that you need, whatever it is that you need to do your work, to live your life, to be comfortable, to be yourself. Ask for it and be open to receiving it. Also listen so that when your beloved ones ask you, you can give it to them. I'm... I've also been becoming aware, increasingly aware, of the importance of bringing awareness into each interaction that we have with others. Um, verbal interactions, nonverbal interactions, just being very aware of what it is that we are bringing to each interaction we have with people and being open to listen to people. Um, being open to becoming vulnerable and expressing our truth. This is also time for us to step up even more because we are already at these new levels and we are ever-evolving beings. It's time for us to step up even more to continue following your path and living in your truth and to really fully show up for whatever it is that you are here to do. And you have so much support and love from me and from all of your beloved ones and our whole network. We have a big network all over the world and all over the multiverse. And we're all just so in love with you. So thank you for being here. I did already film this video earlier and something happened. So I already have chosen the cards. There was one card that came out while I was shuffling and speaking earlier, and it's the Shadow card. This is a Major Arcana card. And this card shows us really digging deep within ourselves and taking an honest look at all aspects of yourself. So a lot of the things that are shoved down beneath the surface 
that are in the shadow. They are parts of ourselves that we don't necessarily like. We don't resonate with that. We don't want to be that way. We're ashamed of it maybe. Um, but if we take an honest look at it, then if we need to work through something, we can. And sometimes all it takes is that awareness and that attention and that truthfulness, that ability to look ourselves in the mirror and see all of ourselves and say, I love you to all aspects of us. I'm very drawn to the image of the bat here visually. And so bats are really misunderstood creatures. Bats are amazing. Bats are amazing pollinators. They really do a lot for our world through pollination and through eating tiny insects that would otherwise be pests. But they're so misunderstood. People are very afraid of them um, because they don't understand them. And so this is a really great metaphor for us for these parts of ourselves which perhaps we're misinterpreting. Perhaps something that you've never liked about yourself you, if you haven't taken the time to fully explore what it actually is, how do you know it's a bad thing? It might make you uncomfortable to experience this and to go through this change. And you may also find that the thing that you're repressing and hiding deep within you is actually your light, your gift, your true power. Allow yourself to do this exploration and allow yourself to allow your inner self to shine outwardly. We also received the Two of Feathers Truth. This is a really beautiful card. We got this card recently. Um, this card is about speaking our truth. It's also a two, which is partnership. This could be romantic partnership. This could be a business partnership. It's some sort of a partnership that involves speaking with each other on a regular basis. I also see the trees here, which is ancestry to me. These particular type of birch tree to me signifies ancestors. Um, also, of course, with the Native American pipe, that is indicative of ancestors to me. Um, so this is a partnership a mirroring situation. It could be a friendship, it could be a lover, it could be a life partner, it could be a boss, it could be anybody that you interact with. And this is indicating that this is a time of speaking your truth, of speaking the truth, of being clear, of being, of cleansing yourself through prayer and meditation and being in touch with what your inner truth is and having the courage to speak that truth having the knowing that you are worth it. You are worth it and you know what your truth is. And if you don't know what your truth is, that's okay. You don't need to know in every moment, but you can take the time perhaps to find it, to dig a little more deeply, to find your truth so that you can express it. The pipe bearers, they're also, they're the truth speakers. They bring the truth to the people, they pray, through this prayer, through this ceremony with the pipe. And they bring the truth back and they speak the truth to the people, even if it's not the truth, even if it's not the, the, the truth that people want to hear. Maybe sometimes the truth we don't want to hear. Sometimes the truth we don't, we don't want to say the truth either because it's scary to put yourself in a situation where you might say something that people don't want to hear. But just know that you're held in love and know that when you're coming at it from a heart-centered space and when you're able to be compassionate and be aware that you're coming at it from a different place as the other person who you're speaking to perhaps, then it, it will all be okay. It will all be okay for you to speak your truth. The next card we received is one of Feather's Divine Mind. This card shows eagle soaring ever higher on these wings of light, traveling upwards on the drafts to see beyond our earthly limitations. Many of us believe that we are earthbound creatures who cannot see through the forest or around the mountain. And this card reminds us that we can soar like the eagle. We can pray to eagle, we can pray to great spirit, we can pray to the goddess, we can pray however you pray and ask for clarity of sight and vision like the eagle. The eagle can see so far and in such great detail. It's beyond our human capacity. And we have abilities which are beyond our human capacity as well, which is what this card reminds us of. 
The next card that we received is the Three of Feathers, Peace. There's a rainbow in the background showing us that peace is always present. We are always fully balanced with the rainbow in the background. This has doves on it. Doves being a symbol of peace, reminding us that we can always come back to our inner peace so that we can then reflect it and radiate it outwards in our interpersonal relationships, in our world, which is what we really need right now. We really need to bring about peace in ourselves so we can bring about peace in the world. So we have the one, two, and three of feathers, and also the shadow card. So when we're really willing to take an honest look at ourselves, and not point the finger at other people, take an honest look at ourselves, all aspects of ourselves, and also ask to see beyond what we perceive our limitations to be, to see the bigger picture. We see ourselves as we are, we see the bigger picture. We are able to speak this truth out into the world to bring about peace. Peace in our lives, peace in the world around us. This is a beautiful, beautiful reading. The goddess card that came up is Artemis, guardian. She, sa she says, you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. Artemis is an amazing archer, and she uses her arrows to protect all of the beings of the forest. She is the protectress of all the forest creatures. You see this deer in the background. Deer is unconditional love, gentleness, also strength and virility. Um, but Artemis, she is telling us that we are safe. She is protecting us. You can call upon the goddess Artemis for strengthening, for protection, and know that you are this. You are the protector of all these creatures in the forest. It's really time for us to work for peace and to work for the conservation of our land. The conservation of our land, our waters, protecting all our relations, not just our human relations, all of those who cannot speak, the animals, the trees, all the plants. So I'm gonna pull an angel card and then call, okay, here we go. <laughs> Archangel Gabriel, peace, oh, grace, excuse me, grace. I'm just really into peace right now, apparently. Grace. So here we have another creature, we've got a swan. And the angel Gabriel bring us grace. This is a very beautiful card. This is a uh, reading. <laughs> so it is a little intense with the shadow. Many people are afraid of the shadow card because many people are afraid to do that deep digging. But we can do so with grace. Call upon Archangel Gabriel. Call upon Artemis. Call upon your higher self. You can do it, you're doing a great job, and keep on going. <laughs> so once again, this is Amanda Amethyst. Thank you for joining me for this video. Uh, let me know if you have any comments or questions, and I'm very excited to share with you the Golden Age Meditation to light up the grid and connect all of our consciousness into a unity consciousness grid. It's pretty exciting. Okay. I love you. Namaste.